Between cars, kids, and home, there's always a chance for a financial emergency. News for Tucson's Chris Clackham says a number of people surveyed say they have no idea how they would pay to fix expensive problems. Okay, a busted water pipe, a car repair, losing a job. All reasons to have a stash of emergency cash, but few of us do. Interestingly, only about half of the American families have an emergency fund. A Bankrate.com survey found most Americans don't have enough savings to cover even a $1,000 emergency. Although you'll likely need much more for a lot longer. You want to have enough to cover six months worth of expenses, ideally, uh, in your emergency fund. Another survey from SmartAboutMoney.org found that nine out of ten people likely to face what the National Endowment for Financial Education calls an income shock during their careers. An income shock is a drop in your year-over-year -year income by 10 percent or more. Endowment President Ted Beck says that's another reason to have an emergency fund that should be easier to start now because take-home pay due to tax cuts take effect next month. So if suddenly you're looking at an increase of $1,000 or $2,000 over the course of the rest of the year, if you don't have that emergency account, now is the time to start. And nothing wrong with starting small, he says, in an easily accessible cash account to prepare for emergencies that are becoming inevitable. There we go. Chris Clackham, News 4 Tucson.